Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Kubota Farm. We are on East Vineland, New Jersey. Oh yeah. So, as I mentioned before, I dropped off the uh, the truck over here at Fred's, and they have done all the paint touch up on it. Same looking truck, but you can see the blacks all nice and touched up on it. And yeah, no charge to us. They want their rolling billboard to look as good as it possibly can no doubt hope you're all doing well what is today wednesday wednesday hump day midweek madness crazy town i like the blinkers on this truck oh did i not get the oh they're not bad i they're not the blinkers i thought i had i think uh you can get blinkers on this thing that are the like the scrolling digital type i think Didn't want to spring for that, I guess. So that's all right. So we did a lot of spring cleaning and we did our maintenance last episode. And now we are going to, well, get pretty much prepared and get ready for work is what we're going to have to do. Um, harvest season is upon us very very soon actually for our crops and our fields we're looking at kind of two months away april may june july hello biggies what's going on girls good to see you a light mod day tuesday didn't see much. A couple maps came out, it looks like, if I'm seeing it correctly. One mod that did come out that I like um, is the... Whoa, Brad. Whoa, Brad. Brad, 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 Brad. Don't hit that. We might need that to you. Is the um, start in spring mod. And I like that idea, and I'm kind of, I actually, if I'm being honest, I actually would not mind to see a mod that lets you start any, start your new game any month of the year would be kind of cool. So apparently this new mod, Start in Spring, allows you to do exactly that. I think it actually starts you off, ah, kind of forget the details. I don't know if it starts you off in March instead of in, what do we normally start in August? So that's kind of cool, and you only need to run it once, so you launch it with a brand new save game. It starts you in spring. Save your game, <clears throat> save your game, exit, and you can get rid of the mod, basically. It's just a one-time shot thing. It'd be kind of cool, I think, to have one for each month, or to have a mod that just you can select. And it'd be cool if Giants would let you pick the month you want to start in. I'm also... A really big fan of and I've got my fingers crossed that this will happen someday for consoles as well and I say that because <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking it would have to be a scripting mod where you can adjust your crop calendar I'm not the biggest fan of this standard crop calendar it just <clears throat> I don't know maybe that's because of the region I live in or what but I mean, one, I mean, wheat, look at wheat. I mean, it's just not representative of at least the area I live in. And from what I can gather, a lot of other areas, and I'm sure for other crops as well, it's a bit limited. And I think, you know, I kind of get it. It's a game and, and things like that, but it would be nice to have a little bit more flexibility, I think, on the crop calendar, at least in my opinion. Some games are some maps, some modders, have done just that and they've made custom crop uh, calendars but i'd like to see a little bit more flexibility for the players to be able to do that as well you know i think that'd be i think that would be kind of a, a nice addition all right so we are in may i don't think there's really much going on with contracts our animals are reasonably well um the only thing i can think of you know jumping on and I don't even think it's worth doing yet at this point is this our grass here has uh, has picked up again 
and we could do i mean we could do another we could do a spring cut on that and maybe that's something we will do uh april may and june because there's nothing else we can really do in june <clears throat> excuse me because we don't have oats and we don't have corn am i looking at that right canola sorry canola and oats uh, we are waiting for July because we've got wheat, we've got barley, and we've got, I think we've got sorghum. Oh, sorghum's August. Okay. Yeah, because didn't isn't field 10? Yeah, field 10 is sorghum, the field we just bought. So actually, that's going to be three months or so out. So <clears throat> we'll have to wait on that one as well and then we're gonna have to decide what we're gonna want to plant on these fields i'm a little bit interested in doing some corn if i'm being honest and i think this field too might actually be a nice field uh to do corn in let's take a quick peek over here this guy over here so once we get this harvest it up and we get it um what uh get the ph levels and nitrogen all squared away this would be i think a nice field for corn we do have crack corn in this game i've been kind of curious about that um yeah i know we don't have a corn header so we'll have to lease or buy one of those just kind of giving a little bit of thought, but we can, we've got time to make that decision so we don't have to make it, we don't have to make it at this very instant. But I do think what we need to do at this very instant is head back home and we might as well skip through. Why am I going south? Home is north. Why do I have a store, a store point here in the yard? Oh, I know why. I was doing a little testing before the game started, and I set up a delivery point there. Whoa! Our thingy's missing. Oh, I know why our thingy's missing. Because I turned it off. I'll turn off those markers. What are they? Those info markers or whatever they're called. Um, depending on the screenshot I'm taking for a thumbnail for the game. I try to remember to turn those off just so they're not, you know, kind of in the way in the picture. They look kind of goofy. All right, so we are in June, and the first thing we should probably just do a quick peek at are our animals. Oh, sheep. You little sheep. I think we should tend to those a bit. Pigs, you're holding strong, but the sheep, we should probably get some grass over to them. Why not? That's always an adventure. Not going to use the Vermeer for grass. I don't want to use the dually for grass this time either. We could probably get away with this M7. I bet for uh, hauling some grass over there, right? Let's get some grass over to those. To our little buddies over there. Almost a shame to get all this equipment dirty again. Get this thing loaded up, and I honestly do not remember how much grass. And actually, sheep will take hay as well, won't they? I don't think they're, I don't think they're too picky. Let's go downhill empty, so we don't have to go uphill full. Oh, let's miss that pole. I actually am kind of happy. I actually thought that through for once. I usually go the other way, and I'm usually, you know trying to get up that hill with a full uh, trailer. Maybe I'm learning something. Who knows? Ooh, no hay. No silage. No wood chips. But we do have grass. Alright. At least uh, we saved enough for our little buddies over here. So get some grass over to them. You know what I should have done before taking off to do this little adventure. And actually, just a real quick look. Oh, yeah. Harvesting? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Harvesting some oats. 
We could actually do that without leasing anything. $477. Boy, I am more and more convinced that it is, I would, I think it's almost cheaper to lease this equipment. I don't know, though. I don't know. I'm just thinking through, you know, if you lease the equipment, okay, gas is, to me, gas is, unless you're playing, you know, fast usage on gas, gas isn't a high, uh, you know, a large expense in the game. And otherwise, then you have wear and tear. You know, you've got, you know, you've got um, wear and tear in the equipment <clears throat> and repair costs. And I would be curious to see if the repair cost for using our own equipment actually ends up being more in total than it is just to lease the equipment for that. Let's try and sneak through here so we can see what we're doing. Then it would be just to lease the equipment, you know? Maybe I'm way off on that, but... So normally, let me check. So I've got the grain door. I've learned my lesson to definitely use the grain door, even though it's still, it's not. Oh, you know what? That's actually a pretty good angle. I might have done this. Yeah, see, I don't know. Something's wrong here on this episode. It seems like I'm starting to learn stuff. Yeah, that maybe, meh, hit it at a better angle like that. Use the grain door so it doesn't lift so high. Because I'll tell you, I've, I have had my battles with this roof and a trailer, and the roof wins. <laughs> the roof wins every time. Every time. Is it going to take this whole trailer? Yeah, sheep are happy. It looks like we might get through this whole trailer. Yeah, sure are. Yeah, easy. Easily got through that whole trailer. In fact, with the amount of sheep we have, I think we could... Whoa, Brad, wrong way. You don't want reverse. Get her out of gear there. In fact, based on that, we might as well just pick up one more load of grass and just get it over there. Get it taken care of so we don't have to worry about them for a few months, I don't think. Don't hit that thing. I'm bound to hit that water hose at one point or another. I'm almost guaranteed that. There we go. Hit the brakes. Another trailer load of grass. Beautiful. Where does that leave us then? Another 29,000, almost another 30,000 liters. So just about an, uh, a little more. Yeah, we've got at least another trailer load of grass sitting in our, in our bale barn. So that's good. But this should keep the, keep the sheep happy for a while. contracts are looking a little bit skim right now. I kind of wish I would have looked straight away after we skipped forward the month. I would have been curious to see if uh, if some were disappearing again. That's alright. Hit this at another angle like we did last time. In hopes that I can that now I am curious because we've got a pretty good angle on her if I do switch to back on load yeah see I was getting cocky I was getting cocky with it I might be whoops no but wrong way buddy yeah we're gonna have to stick to the grain door keeps it down keeps it from hitting that roof That'll make our sheep happy. 
those two contracts are still there. That's not a very big harvest contract. I don't know if we even really want to deal with four, a $4,000 contract, if I'm being honest. It almost, it would probably make a little bit more sense just bumping up another month and starting our harvest season. And it better not rain. Where's our weather? Where's the weather forecast? So July, ooh, 93, it's going to be a warm July. So July's 93, it doesn't look like any rain in the forecast until September, which I'm okay with because that'll get us through... That'll get us through some harvesting. That was a nice little skip right there. Yep, I'm convinced. I think, um... There's things that I... I was thinking the other day <clears throat> that it would be really, really nice, in my opinion, at least. I honestly would... I want to see Giants... At least for me, I want to see the game optimized. I wish that they would take more time at this point optimizing graphics, optimize the game, perfect the game the way it is. They don't I personally would would prefer that. I think between what they have in the base game and what modders are adding to the game, I just want to see the game run smooth and I'm just it it gets frustrating with this, you know, the name that shall not be named stuff having to be rebuilt all the time and all that nonsense and the forums are just filled with people um, discussing that as well and I, I if it's possible I think that's the direction in fact I would be willing I would actually be more than happy to see a um, why am I not picking there we go we'll get to the house I would be I'd be willing to pay a little throw some money down for a 2020 into 2023 release um so a year from eh, a little maybe more than a year from now and have a have an early release instead of waiting to 25 and having them just get the game i don't know how to put it optimized i think is the best word i can come up with you know that's what i would prefer i think there's plenty to do already and uh, it's just my opinion. I mean, we all want to see baby animals. We want to see, um, you know, we want to see more brands. We want to see, there's there's a lot of things everybody, I think, wants to see in the game. And that's all fine and dandy. I totally agree. But the playability of the game, I mean, it's getting to the point where if you don't have a fairly reasonable computer if you're not on console, console, see, this is where you guys have a little bit of a have a jump on us because you've got you've got what you've got. But on the PC side, if you don't have a reasonable PC, and I mean reasonable, I mean something that's probably going to run you a thousand bucks, minimal. Farm Sim has gotten to the point now where you're not playing on high graphics; you're playing medium and low, and then you add. Um, you know, so it's getting to the point. Then you add recording. So I've got recording in the background. That takes up CPU cycles. That's part of the reason why I get some of these um, chunks once in a while is because of that. That's a different story. But, you know, it's it's getting rough. And it's getting to be a very, very uh, demanding game. And I think that they can do a better job. I do think they can do a better job. Because I'll tell you what, if we're when 2025 comes out, do I do we want to move forward a month instead of me yapping? I just want to make sure before I pull the trigger here. <laughs> yeah, let's move. Yeah, let's move forward another month. Yeah, because I'm just on another tangent. Yeah, let's move forward another month. I I honestly don't think it's worth. I mean, we could do a mo. We could, mm, we could do a mo. Oh yeah, cause see, we waited another month, and now we're on that last stage. So now we've got full, and we do get good money. We are gonna need grass. We could even do hay out of it. So you know what? I guess we don't need to. I guess we don't need to sprint. We can, we can take our time a little bit. Let's hit the mo on this. And in fact, now that I think about it. 
this will give a chance to test out that uh, course play course I believe I have set up on here let's check that out so yeah you know how I feel that's how I feel is I I would prefer seeing the game optimized and honestly I think it's going to do I think it'll do several things number one it'll smooth out gameplay number two it'll keep the game available to a wider audience um, that doesn't have money for expensive hardware um, you know especially in this day and age where you're talking about um, uh, everything going up in price, food, gas, everything's, it's ridiculous. And now you're, you, you know, you've got a game for the masses and you're asking people, you know, I, it, yeah, it's tough. It's tough all around. And I understand you don't have to play on high ultra graphics. I get that, but the game is beautiful on ultra graphics. And, you know, just sometime, just as a reminder, I did this over the weekend Lower those graphics down to the lowest, and you will get an immediate, um, uh, I, I guess, appreciation and a bit of pity for people who are playing on that uh, particular deal, because it's it's certainly not nearly as nice looking. And again, I'm talking and not thinking. So CP field work. We need to open the generator, don't we? Number of headlands. I'm actually going to. I'm actually going to do three this time because I think the last time I tested this course play course, I had did one, maybe two, and I had a little bit of problem around the sheds. So we're going to try three this time. And uh, we can start in the headland. We can start. I usually start in center. Uh, headland corners are smooth. That's completely fine. Let's generate this course and let's just take a look at what it looks like. Yeah, I think that'll work out pretty well for us. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's see here. Did I not load? Yeah, I did load. I was like, did I not load that course? Okay, so there's our start point way over yonder here. We'll get him kind of guided over in that direction. And I've learned my lesson to not unfold everything because course play will fold and refold and unfold. So we'll just... We want nearest waypoint. We want first waypoint. Why am I letting course play do this? Uh, just because I kind of want to test it and see where see how things look I'm a little curious to see how it does oh thank you for remembering to leave the wind row on I appreciate that that being said I kind of think we might want to grab do we need hay we don't need hay really though do we that's just extra work for nothing at this point because the sheep can do grass, and we usually do silage out of this, don't we, too, for cash. So, yeah, we'll just stick with the with the grass works, and we're just going to sit here on auto drive, let course play do its business for us, and that way we can maybe yap just a little bit more. So that's my concern about the future of Farming Simulator. Be whether it be founded or not, I'm not entirely sure. But I do, I am concerned about the game in that regard. That I look at a game like Euro Truck, an American Truck Simulator, okay? And they have a different... SCS software has a different way of doing things. They're not putting out a new version of their game every year every two years every three years that's not what they do they put out maps right they just release maps and for the states they release states you know they release states and then i guess well not maps but what in europe they release you know more countries maybe or new parts of countries um new new map assets new trucks things like that i actually really if i'm being honest i really like that 
because their development is still going on. They still add new stuff to the game. Um, so it's not a stagnant platform by any means. Then we move to Farm Sam. Not stagnant. Again, progressing as they go. But what I see, though, for let's just say, let's just say, as an example, they're going to release at the end of 2024. So it'll be Farm Sim 2025, right? I believe, I believe on one of the um, uh, Giants podcasts, somebody even brought up, you know, that question. And I think it was kind of made known that they were going to stick with three-year releases. So we'll say 20, end of 2024, we get the next version, right? What are going to be the hardware demands for that version? What's going to be the minimum hardware? What What is it going to take to run this game? I, I don't know how Mac players, unless I have been out of the Mac world for too long, I don't know how Mac players are playing this game. They must not be playing it at max levels, I would think. Macs don't have, you know, unless you've got a, a Mac Pro or something special with, a, you know, you don't have dedicated graphics. You're stuck with the old Intel integrated graphics, and now they've got the M1s and stuff, and I haven't really paid attention much to the graphics from those and what they're capable of, but I can't imagine that they're capable of more than an RTX 2080 or 2070 or 2060. Certainly not as capable as a 3070, 3080. And I am not running out. I have no interest in running out and paying $1,600, $1,700 on a graphics card anytime soon for this 4090 business and even the 4080. I mean, it's getting... To me, at least, it's getting to be kind of nonsensical. I mean, that's three, at least three times more for just a graphics card over a console. At some point, you've got to start weighing your the benefits here. You know. But it's just been on my mind lately, you know, and it's and it and. I'm frustrated by it only because I just don't want to see a bunch of people get knocked out of being able to play this game because um, spending a thousand dollars on upgrading or on a PC isn't in the isn't in the you know in the cards. Eh, I don't know. I just don't know. And I get, you know, the game, the game, like I said, this, this game is awesome. And I, and I comment a lot. I mean, look how amazing this stuff looks. I mean, come on. I mean, we're getting to the point. I mean, this is, you know, I've got an RTX 3080. You got ray, ray tracing. Um, there, there are times when I'm playing this game in certain lighting conditions and things where the way things look, it's, it's, it's photo realistic uh, are darn close in some regards and that's pretty darn impressive but I've also you know spent a lot of money on that and and uh, I'll tell you you know it, it'll be frustrating if 2025 comes out when it's released and and all of a sudden, you know, I guess that's the life of technology, though, isn't it? It's the way technology goes, you know. I think sometimes we're sold a bill, a go a bill of goods, though, because um, I've been in, I've been in, um, in technology and IT for a long time, and and I feel like sometimes we are sold a bill of goods. And I look at these phones, like I've got an iPhone 10. What is it? An iPhone. 10XR, the big guy, the one that weighs like four pounds. <laughs> and I like the big one because uh, it's easier to read. That's the only reason I really like it. I mean, I really miss my old 
iPhone SE because it was just so convenient and easy to pocket. But, you know, these eyes aren't getting younger and these bigger phones are really, really nice, you know, to be able to read. But from a performance standpoint, I just don't know why I would need a new phone. You know, I mean, how much faster do I need to read an email or have launch an email and all this other stuff they're trying to sell us? And I know the cameras continue to improve, and I can certainly appreciate that. But it's it's funny. If you watch, and I'm not just saying this is Apple. It's also, it's all these companies. So, you know, you can't just say, oh, it's Apple marketing. Well, <laughs> it's not. It's all of them. Each time they release these new products, they're telling you how much better and better and better it is than the one before. You know, when you so what were we chumps for buying the one before? <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, how much better does it need to get? It's kind of crazy town. So what do y'all think about this course play course? You can see, like, I didn't get it up in that corner right there, but you know, we can always manually grab some more. I didn't do a really, you know, I didn't cut it really close into this corner here. But I think for, you know, I mean, look how long that took, you know, it was what, 10 minutes maybe or something like that. I don't know, I'm yapping, so I lose track of time, but, um, and actually I could probably, you know, get this whole strip right here over a bit. So not bad though. I think it, it does the job and it's nice because how many cuttings do we get a year? We can probably get what, three or four grass cuttings a year. I mean more if we didn't want it to grow full out, but but uh, let's check something out here real quick before I let you go. We wrap up this episode. Let's unfold everything. You ever notice, I don't know if any of you watch The Walking Dead, um, it's, it's just gone downhill so dramatically bad in my opinion. But in the old days with Rick Grimes, <laughs> um, when it was actually decent, you ever notice how <laughs> it was always everything? That was his th everything. You know, everything. That was his southern accent. It's everything. Come on, Shane, everything. All right, let's see here. Let's fire this bad boy up. Fire this bad boy up. So, yeah, we can get an entire... I could expand out the course to get an entire strip over here that's being missed. And not that it's a big pain to just do it myself, you know, it's it's not a big deal to just go around and and kind of hit all this. Because this kind of adds up, right? And mom likes the uh, grass cut nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that's funny to me, but... Uh... Ma likes the yard looking good. All right, that works for me. I'm just not a um, super picky kind of farming simulator kind of player, you know. I know that there's a lot of field um, field people out there that like every square inch, you know, and this kind of thing. Like that little grass right there is gonna bug them, kind of thing. But eh, it's just not it, it's just not for me anymore, you know. I think it's more realistic to have stuff like that in my, in, at least in my opinion, because that stuff's going to happen in life, you know? Well, you know, I appreciate y'all. Hopefully I didn't turn you off to uh, my discussion. Um, if you've got a different opinion, I, you know, great, share it. I'd love to hear it. Um, I just get concerned for the state of the game and the route that it's going. And it's not just Farming Simulator. There's a lot of games out there that are just getting to a point where, you know, you know, you, you have to make a decision. If you want to just play it, you want to play it on high-end graphics, you're going to have to spend the money. If you don't, well, you know, tough beans. But I do think that these software developers and these game developers, um, and I understand they... they they hear they listen to the community and the community is really demanding man that's such a nice looking tractor setup isn't it 
I know I repeat myself like that, but isn't that thing freaking gorgeous, right? Can I get an amen? That thing's beautiful. Actually, since we're here, let's do a quick... Let's get our maintenance done on it so it's ready next time. No repaint. No, I'm not spending $7,000 on repainting the Kubota right now. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. I, I want to see the game continue. I want to see it optimized. I would, if, if, if I had my vote, optimization and, um, and, uh, um, uh, um, stability. That's my number one thing right there. In fact, like I said, I'll pay for a mid, mid year version, like 2020 into 2023. I'll throw Giants 30 bucks if they optimize this game really optimize it make it super stable clean as a whistle that would make me happier than finding out that none of that happened and we got baby ducks or we got um or we got uh you know lambs whoop de do whoop de do if you've got lambs if the game is crashing every other time you load it for people and if it's stuttery and jerky all right I'm off my soapbox. Yeah, I know. They're all, the sheep aren't happy with me preaching like that either. Are you, Sean? I promise. Well, thanks, everyone. Sorry I uh, got a little preachy on this one, but I wanted to get that off my chest. It's been bugging me. Um, that's just how I feel. I want to see the game do well. I just want it to be solid. And I want, to, I want as many people to be able to play and continue to play this game in the most beautiful fashion that they can and uh and i'm and I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't go the other way so that's it for kubota farm here uh for our wednesday edition we will uh we'll be back thursday of course and then throwback another edition of throwback thursdays coming up kind of excited about that one we've got our silage blanketed over on old family farm we have ducks on Old Family Farm. I am excited to announce that. A friend of mine, a friend of the channel, uh, reached out to me. And <laughs> I know I mentioned, you know, who cares about having ducks on a farm? But I can tell you right now, these ducks are sweet. Um, so, yeah, we have ducks on Old Family Farm, and they crack me up every time I see them. So I was super thankful. Um, I was super thankful for that. I think it's an awesome addition to Old Family Farm. So I'm looking forward to that. You all take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will uh, see you back here real soon. Bye, everyone.